Well, the All-Star Game was not just about baseball, mm -hmm. but also about giving back to the community. And the Tri-State Veterans Community Alliance co-founder, Dan Knowles, is here this morning to show us one of those ways the All-Star Game is giving back. It's good to see you, Dan. Hi, Shelly. How are you? Hello, so, Dan. Tell us what the Alliance does. Well, we're an independent, uh, veteran-led nonprofit. And so what we do is we try to connect veterans and their families from all eras to the services that our community uh, provides. And we help the service providers and the employers in our area better gain access to the veterans that are looking for help mm -hmm. as they come into our community. And of course, we all have wonderful memories of what the All-Star Game meant here, mm -hmm. just for the city, for the whole region, actually. But veterans specifically, what comes out of the All-Star Game? Well, we were uh, very fortunate to be the veteran project, if you will, for Major League Baseball and their legacy program uh, as they came in to, to uh, sponsor the All-Star Game. And as part of that, uh, we were able to start up a veteran in-processing, or VIP, and uh, Welcome Center okay. down at the uh, City Link near Finley Market. And what this does is it allows veterans, when they first come to our community, find a place that is staffed by veterans, that is run by veterans, that they can trust and know their background, um, and that we can help them, welcome them to our community and get them connected to the right services and uh, the right people that they need. What are some of the ways that veterans need help? We know jobs, we know uh, some of the adjustments maybe when they're getting out of the military, coming back to quote unquote normal life, right? Exactly. Well, you find that a lot of times they, they do need they do need jobs. That that is one of the most important things they ask mm -hmm. for. But they're also looking for places to settle their family if they have young families. Uh, many of them are leaving the service with debt and they need help managing their finances. And we work with some great partners down at the CityLink Center uh, to include um, Smart Money, for example, that provides that type of basic budgeting and financial help that they need, as well as job preparation, resume preparation, and um, work getting connected to employers. Because employers really want to hire veterans, don't they? Absolutely, absolutely. And what you find, it's uh, you've got so many great employers and service agencies in our community who really want to help these veterans and their families. And you've got veterans who need that help, but they keep missing in the middle. Oh, yeah. And the uh, with over 2,000 registered nonprofits trying to help veterans and their families just in Southwest Ohio, wow. it is overwhelming. And so they need, the veterans need some place where they can kind of check in. Filter it. Exactly, yeah. and help get some advice from people who have been through that because it's, otherwise it's just totally overwhelming. Well, and I was gonna say, how significant is it, just to touch on something that you've mentioned, that, that veterans can come in knowing that they're being served by people who are veterans, who've been through all of this themselves. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that's got to be significant. That is hugely important, Bob, and that's a great point. One of the things you find is that these, these young veterans have done so much, and they are so well-trained, and they are so capable, and yet they have, in many cases, not a lot of confidence that all that experience they have translates mm -hmm. yeah. to something that employers need. Or they and don't know how it translates. Exactly. They That's don't know exactly how to make the right. transition. Right. And in many cases, the employers, the people who are doing the interviews, don't always understand how to ask the type of questions that allows them to tell their story. Mm. And so what we do is we work with both ends of that. We work with the veterans to help them understand how their experience and their skills can be useful to employers. And we help employers ask the right type of questions and know how to screen the resumes and help connect with the veterans. Well, hats off for this type of work that you're doing. Yeah, well, thanks yeah. it's a great program. Thank, thanks to you, thanks to all of our veterans on Veterans Day, and uh, hopefully we'll get more people connected and get them the help they need. Well, thanks very much. And they can certainly get more information by going to our website or, or reaching us via phone at 513-354-2008. Uh, we'll put all that on our website so Perfect. people can find awesome. it. Thank you, Dan. Dan, thanks.